Central Point is a leader in knowledge management for Fortune 1000s and businesses around the world. And that typically means uh, websites and it means the different portals and microsites that people need to manage. But ultimately, the real value is in managing uh, knowledge or information within your organization, which is something Central Point can do. To better understand that, we first want to talk about DITA, Darwin Information Typing Architecture. Now, what is this? Think of digital asset management and how images and media objects should be reused throughout your organization, meaning you change the image and it all changes. Well, documents should be the same way. And this standard, which has been defined by OASIS, and it's an evolving standard. This is a standard right now. Most recent version is 1.4. Um, we like to look at this and say, look, this is a standard, yes, but for your organization, it, it, it needs to be customized. It needs to fit your personality. And here's exactly what we mean. So forget the websites for just a minute. Let's talk about documents and let's talk about the creation of documents. Here I'm going to fill out a form. Now, I wouldn't necessarily have to fill out a form. I could just click a download button, you know, log in and click download. This is kind of advanced to show you that sometimes we need to interact with people around that document. So John might need to agree to certain terms, he might need to sign his name, he might need to punch in certain information. And what we're doing is we're processing this data through a template. And that template is coming out the other end looking like a formatted agreement or contract. Here we have a PDF output of a sample agreement between John, Oxion, and some other company, including John's signature. So it's not just about downloading the latest document, it's about managing these templates unique for each user in your organization so that everyone served the right document fresh out of the oven. And ultimately it means uh, the reduction of millions of repetitive and redundant documents because we really only have one template. Now let's talk about the template because most organizations who are involved in document management and DITA will say, well, let's use CSS and let's use the CSS to format the document and that sort of thing, which you can. And we can define those CSS rules for all of your headers and footers and that sort of thing. But what you will find as that evolves is that CSS alone is not enough. There are all sorts of formatting, uh, presentation uh, features like page numbers and footers and, you know, graphic effects that will transcend your ability to code around that. And we've learned that kind of the hard way. So I think CSS is wonderful when it comes to the web and to this very fluid design. But when it comes to documents, uh, we need a template that you're familiar with, that our clients are familiar with. So here's that form that I filled out. When it was filled out, we could have routed it to somebody for approval. Um, we could have uh, actually uh, given it to somebody for, for their review. Um, let me just go to this site right here, forgive me. We could have routed this to someone for their workflow or approval. But when it came time to render the document for the user, you'll notice that the fields collected in that form, well, they might need to pass through a filter. Now, here's what our filter looks like for DITA. It's called Microsoft Word. Um, now, you can use CSS. You can sit there and hammer out CSS to your uh, crazy, but you're going to have a lot of difficulty because when a document is rendered, you need tools that ordinary people can manage. And here you see a reference to the logo that we saw earlier, everywhere where the company name is mentioned, the first name is mentioned. So this type of a template allows us to output reliable uh, outputs and better, it's a template that your folks are familiar with. So you can very easily upload your new template. And when you upload your new template, that becomes the guide that spits out, in this case, a PDF. So just to show you what the output file looked like, that form that I filled out, which passed through the Word template, came out the other end. And here's the one that I filled out at 8.14 a.m. This is just all the raw data we've collected behind the scenes. Don't need to worry about that. Here is the document. So basically, it becomes a vending machine to pass information through the rules engine, being Centerpoint, which outputs this file type. Now, the really interesting thing about this is that it's not just PDFs and Word documents. For example, we might have live data or charts that need to feed, uh, for the CEO's benefit, a live PowerPoint. 
So we need to make a link available for that CEO or sales presenter so that whenever they download the PowerPoint, they're going to have the latest data peppered into that PowerPoint. Or perhaps in Excel, which is even more interesting because Excel can manage calculations. So this means that if someone enters in their hours that they work this week, we might need to calculate all the taxes and whatnot automatically. So we plug in the uh, formulas into Excel, we capture the data, and we output a very customized invoice or report just for them. So this is a very powerful tool. Um, and we support many different file output types, but it's very important to realize that you need to use templates that are uh, easy to update, easy to maintain. Now, all of the different you know modules and containers of information uh, in line with the DITA standards, all of these would be renamed around the types of things you manage every day. Legal clauses, safety clauses, policies, procedures. And as we tag each one of these records, and we tag this particular record to only a certain role of user within only a particular region of the site, you know, whatever it might be. This is what allows us to know when rendering that document how every single element is going to line up in order appropriate for those individual users. So that's why we call it Central Point because at the hub we're managing all of the pieces parts. Uh, and by the way, it's not just the paragraphs and the legalese and all that. Of course, we also need to consider our uh, media assets and how do we manage this image so that if the image is referenced in these Word documents, updating this one image or graphic or diagram will ensure that all of those documents are up to date the next time they're downloaded. Uh, we also additionally offer uh, a tool that we call a file output. Uh, this is a new module that we've recently released. Uh, file output allows us to manage it's almost think of this as a nice little parking spot for all of your different templates and uh, sometimes we might want to offer a uh, a button you know for the file so basically what we're saying here is all right let's upload our template let's provide the button available let's determine what the output will be so this button becomes kind of the magic thing you want to go put on your site uh, this button right here uh, I can say, all right, let me grab this thing. I can grab that little script and go put it wherever I want to. I might, that might show up on a page that's only available to everyone in HR or everyone who's a doctor or a uh, sales manager. So that button, when they click that button, it will download you know, the fresh out of the oven document, whatever that might be, with the appropriate information. And again, you see all the different icons for PowerPoint, Word, Excel, because we really never know what you need to manage. So we need to be very versatile here. We can also do the same thing for publishers uh, when it comes to InDesign files or uh, various custom export file types we can build this around. So, you know, whether it be, uh, doesn't have to be any of these Microsoft products or Adobe products, it can be any product that you have. The goal here is to centrally manage the knowledge separate from the template itself so that we're not left with millions of versions of documents instead we're passing everyone through this filter uh, and as they download it each one is getting their own custom uh, report and again many examples here but uh, if a user were to log in uh, as a sales representative I think this is a good example sales representative for for California who only represents products A, B, and C well when they download that product guide or that brochure or whatever contract they might need to take to their client it's only going to have in it the California provisions the California products the California you know so everything will be filtered based on this users profile this users territory this users you know whatever is relevant to their territory and their role um, so legal HR those that are managing the, the uh, uh, liability and making sure uh, underwriting and in insurance is a good one where uh, they you know they're always having to check the documents that are being done because there's so many in circulation we need to pass everyone through this central point so that we can now harness the knowledge unique for each user and maintain sanity with templates like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you know, templates people are familiar with. And again, you can use CSS to manage those templates, so there's nothing uh, wrong with that. Uh, we just know that uh, eventually, as you reach certain things like the need for watermarks and identifiers per document based on who downloaded it, you know, badging each document, um, 
uh, a lot of different features in terms of the formatting and Word's already done that and everyone already has Word so why not just use that as a template which is an additional value uh, for you just making it a lot easier. So we invite you to contact us uh, to discuss more about what DITA means for your organization and I think you'll be surprised to see that the uh, the website is really just the tip, tip of the iceberg. Um, although it's nice to harness all this information for the benefit of users, you know, public and private and mobile. Uh, really, where the rubber meets the road is when it, it's the information within your organization, and there you see CenterPoint really coming to life as a knowledge management in DITA platform. Uh, thank you for your time.